we're going to add new pages to our website. Our only page right now is home. So I'm going to move me over here for now. And we have two options. We can either add a new page by clicking this button down here. So we're going to do that once. And we're going to call this science because this is an e-portfolio. Uh, we need different subject areas. I want this science to be a sub page to the home page. So I need to drag that onto home and you can see now it is a sub page. Okay. So you can also see that it used the same header image as the home page. That's okay. We're going to change that right away because it's a little confusing if every page has the same image. I'm going to select an image and I'm going to search again, science. And again, these are okay for reuse with modification. This looks sciencey and I'm going to select. So now we have a home page and we have science. Another way to add a sub page is to click these three dots on the side and add a sub page. I'm going to add ELA, English Language Arts. And here you can see that ELA is now a sub page of English of the home page. If I want to make a subpage of ELA, for example, reading, I can add a subpage. So ELA and then reading. So reading is a part of ELA. So here, ELA now has the science image. We need to change that or we will get confused. So here, language arts, and use that image. I don't like that image so much because it's hard to read, even when Google changed the background a little bit. So let's choose a different one. We always want to make sure that our viewers can read what we're writing. This image here, actually, the typewriter keys might work. And when you're doing your site, you're going to have time to find the perfect image for you. So I like that much better. And then for reading, again, we're going to change the image, select the image, search, reading, and this one looks nice here. Okay, so what does that mean when it's a sub page? You'll see here on our home page that if I click this arrow, we can see the different sub pages. And then ELA has its own sub page of reading. Another sub page of ELA could also be writing. I'm going to stop here now with the examples because you understand you could add math you could add art etc etc all of the subject areas that you do for your e-portfolio so now that we have different sites we're going to build each page let's go to science and we need to add add things to our science page so we want some authentic pieces of learning from science. So we need to go to insert to add things to the page. 